Hey guys, Kane here, and in this video we're going to talk about whether or not the Hero Squad game is free to play friendly. Now, first things first, this game is an idle game, so as time passes you can get some stuff and essentially people assume that a game like this is 100% pay to win and you cannot contest any spenders. So I can only give my opinion at the current stage of the game and personally I do think this game is very free to play friendly. Now first things first, let's go on to the rankings. And I will use the example from the top 3 and I am currently top 3 uh, in the rankings. The rank 4 has quit the game so we kind of not need to include him into the video. So first things first, the rank 1 guy is VIP13. Now as you can see VIP13, essentially it's over 1500, maybe 2000 bucks into the game. And you can see he has about 5.1 million power and he has so many stars on his uh, heroes that majority of his heroes are close to 1 million. His main hero is 1.4 million power and it's a mage which does insane AoE damage as you can see to the entire board. And if you would check all of these heroes, all of these stars and power and then you would check mine. As you can see I am VIP 4 and let me tell you, you can also get VIP 4 by being free to play. Personally I spend like 50 bucks on the game early on. I usually play games where I start out, I spend a little bit and then I scale that efficiency to better and better. Now I'm not telling you to spend money or whatever but you're able to achieve VIP 4 free to play and personally I think I will achieve VIP 5 and it will lock me at VIP 5 because there will be no more free VIP points. So keep that in mind, you can get VIP 4 and you only really need VIP 3 for the skips in uh, particular features. Other than that, it won't give you anything even as VIP 4. So, as you can see on the hero stars, I have only one good proper DPS, which is 1.1 million. And then my currently second DPS is um, Orlando, which as you can see is almost 1 million, but he is only one star. So the thing is, it really depends on your gears, it really depends what kind of material you spend on the hero and what kind of relics you do. At the same time, it really depends on your formation as well. So, going back to the other guy, now I've noticed that I can check the skills here. You can see that his mages, uh, and he has this one as like his uh, top uh, mage hero, he has additional magic damage and 80% chance to double cast. Now, if we go to the Asimar uh, circle, can see this is the same hero, does 50% more damage with more than 35% HP and he also gains 40% mana recovery for every 3 rounds. So basically this is a guaranteed ultimate almost the first turn or guaranteed almost on the second. It really depends if he lands a critical or not or stuff like that whether or not he will cast it first turn. So. That aside, if we check on to the elf mastery, or rather like the formation bonuses, we can see that the basic attacks do more damage, which is 15% bonus, and 100% chance to do one extra normal attack. Now this extra normal attack will always hit after a skill as well, so you're able to even do 4 attacks, basically it will go as basic basic skill and then basic or basic skill, basic basic, something in a version like that. However, not all of these heroes are elves and I have something like Cambion, which is the Orlando, as well as majority of these DPSs are also Shadow Blades, which increase in crit rate and crit damage. And that basic attack, when they start like doing the basic attacks, can also do a lot of damage. Now, why did I say this and why did I say free to play friendly? 
So if you would play this game and you would want to compete with the other people without spending money, you will have to go the Elves and the Shadow Blades route. Currently, this formation is probably the strongest in the game. However, for how long, I unfortunately do not know. However, they are releasing heroes literally almost every week, probably every couple of weeks. Now, they have even released two heroes from the making of my last video, which wasn't even too long ago. Now, that aside, why is it that important for you to play that? Now, if we go on to the arena, you can see that I am rank 1 in arena. So essentially, you can think that I have beaten that VIP 13 player myself. And yes, I have. So let's check the replay. So if we scroll down, we can see that my assassins have done a lot of damage. And his mage actually got some hits off, but majority of his other units, they just died rather quickly. And I can just simply show you the replay and it's rather quite fast. So this hero here actually buffs my best DPS in terms of attack and also defense while soaking the damage for it. This is my healer. This is my second best DPS which will you see in a second will one shot uh, this uh, hero in the back line. As you can see, boom, down, that was like 5.5 million damage with a skill. That's what I mean about assassins being the best. Now, as you can see, like this hero is losing a lot of HP, while this one is still staying quite high. So you can see the assassin one shot the other guy, and now his mage literally just wiped my entire field and now my assassin just finished off the other three units majority of the job was done by this uh, buffer who tanked majority of the damage for my dps making that dps survive having full rage and then doing an aoe rage on their core uh, heroes so that aside majority of the pve events that i have I am also ranking the highest in the server. Now, this one, the Hidden Tower, in a couple of days I will reach the level 13 myself. Again, only a couple of days, so I just reset a couple of these stages which I cannot properly perfect. The uh, Cube Relic, as you can see, I am at stage 377. While majority of other guys are stuck at either like 309 or 354. There are a lot of other uh, content such as uh, one second. Such as the cave challenge. Where on the infinite I am almost at 300%. While a lot of other players are stuck at like 200% or less. The same for like another one which is uh, this one. This is very, very hard to reach 100% to get more daily rewards and majority if not all the other people are stuck at like 50%. However, the assassins, they can easily reach like the top scores, next stages in majority of the PvE content and essentially that is why the game is kind of free to play friendly. Now, the other thing is if that is even not enough, I have another event called like event challenges rather where if they release two new heroes or units they release new events and essentially you get an event where you can get even the SSR type heroes or core heroes that are called in this game with a lot of rewards in terms of diamonds all other heroes and in a sense they also have like a challenge stage where you do damage or you CC and do damage and you earn daily diamonds, you earn daily materials and all that kind of stuff. And again, as you can see, my damage is the highest by even almost double of all the other guys. And basically that's just saying the assassins are doing a pretty decent job. So majority of the games, as you can see, I easily find a formation which is overpowered. I use that formation and I make that game look easily as free-to-play friendly as possible. 
I do believe a lot of games have some stuff like this, a lot of games have like these kinds of efficiencies and whatever, but essentially somewhere in the future I do believe there are counters to these units and eventually depending how well you use this formation you may get outscaled, but if you use it properly you will always be able to outscale or counter the counter as I always like to say. So anyways, this game is definitely free to play friendly if you play it properly, if you plan properly and they give you so much resources daily like today I have spent like 10,000 diamonds and I went down to like 3,000, 3,300 and I don't even know where the hell I'm getting the diamonds from but I'm getting them from literally everywhere to the point that I can just go to a shop and like purchase stones like this and not even like worry about anything like you can get so many diamonds in this game that you don't even need to worry about buying whatever you like but personally like I get so much diamonds here without spending money that like this is a one of a kind game and quite a lot of people have to try it out for me personally it's really fun it's very very rewarding Anyways, thanks for watching guys and stay safe out there.